What's going on, everyone? Everywhere, never fail. Look at Jay's here. Back with another sneaker review. Today, I bring a pickup that I've already done, and the quality on that video was not good. And I had picked up another sneaker for Bean, so these are for Bean. The pair I already had gotten for him, for his wife. And then when he got them in, and uh, his wife was trying them on or whatever, looking at them, his daughter saw them and she wanted a pair. So finally got a pair for him after over a month. So there was like mid. February I got them in and I did the quick reviews but the sun was a little uh, out and I think um, the lens was a little dirty it looked clear on camera as I'm looking here but after um, I also didn't even take a picture of the sneaker I'm like man so that whole thing was like I don't know what happened and luckily you know she wanted a pair so I, I put another order in through Snipes so the first pair was through Snipes and then she, uh, his wife ordered another pair that was through Nike all white Nike, I don't remember right now the name, something. And so, I put the second order in, and nothing after a week. He's like, what's going on with the pair? I'm like, I don't know, it's not moving. Um, email them through the app, and then wait. I'm like, let me go to the store. Um, I call the number PayPal has on file, and it goes to a lawyer's office. So then I go to the store, and I said, let me get the number to call in corporate or whatever. And I call, and it has the, the email she gave me to email them. And it's like, it goes straight to that. There's no other options. It's, um, yeah, just email us. I'm like, what? This this is a bad way to do customer service where you can't even talk to anyone. They're, they're skeleton, skeleton staff. And then I'm like, all right, I'll uh, email them, give them another week, and nothing. Uh, and the email said, look, you need to contact me back. Um, I already been waiting enough. Um, I'm gonna open up a claim on PayPal nothing open up the claim email PayPal you know all that stuff tell them um, send the, the email you know uh, let them know you know what already happened dates and whatnot and then get the uh, thing that the case has been closed for PayPal and should be receiving the money and um, then a little after I get the confirmation through snipe saying this case is closed and stuff like that because they're not doing anything so from what I got is possibly what happened was a store took the order in they wrapped it up in a box it said uh, UPS ready for pickup and they never picked it up weeks on weeks on weeks and um, yeah uh, it must have been left in a corner nobody knew where it was nobody you know was like oh where's this package you know just uh, put it out with the other boxes it's my guess um, from the, the lady I talked to at Snipes in person because um, she was saying that you could put her order in at the store and they could be able to track it and uh, let you know where it is and all that stuff but me doing it online makes no sense or on the app they can't see it so, okay so but if you have any problems um, trying to deal with uh, snipes um, it would be best to order to avoid any problems it'd be best to order at the store um, instead of ordering it online now you know they do live releases big releases and people get their pairs for whatever reason, I just got a bad luck or whatever. Never had no problems with them over the years. But it can happen and just tell you the um, customer service is not really there. But on to the sneakers. Let's look at the box. You got your white and red Nike box. Sports wear box. Women's Air Max 97 SE. And today's Air Max Day, March 26, 2024. And these are white, pink smell, pink foam, FJ. 4549100 made in Vietnam. Got your regular tissue paper in there and you got your stamp action there. I picked these up through StockX because I wasn't trying to deal with um, snipes again. Um, yeah, they got me already. So now I'm like a little bit in doubt now, but now I know how to deal with them. If I see a pair that's online or whatever, best to just go in store. But if you don't want to go to the store, waste close to an hour depending on where you live I know I live like about half an hour to one and then there's another one like 20 minutes so that's like 40 minutes I want to try to avoid wasting time like that order online and take my chances but the uh, customer service is not gonna be there and then you're just gonna have to open up the case so but um but here they are so yeah pick these up through StockX and you got your pink rubber also got your little swoosh there and this gray air unit and then you got the pink air unit going throughout 
a lot of comfort in these. And then you have this paint splatter effect that is not hitting at the top. It's a nice little fade. I like that little detail. These called the Chanel, and you got your Chanel swoosh. It looks like it's a velvet looking swoosh to me, but they're calling it Chanel, Chanel, whatever. Um, you got your white canvas upper, and then you got this um, tan hits, and that goes on through the tongue. Little light contrast, I like that. And you know, reflective 3M going on right there. Yeah, and the um the hits of pink, the, the little mini swoosh um, embroidered on right here and your pull tabs here the top of the tongue and your heel you have air max right here um at the top right here of this tongue you got your uh, um durabuck feeling material <clears throat> and embossed nike swoosh there white insole pink oh white sock liner pink insole and pink swoosh and you got this little splatter effect design the laces. The laces have this terry cloth, nice um, premium feeling um, vibe to them. Um, nice and thick rope lace. I like that little detail, little splash. Give it, um, like like I said, it's a special edition SE. So yeah, really feeling these. And what would I rate these? These I would rate a six. Nice and clean. Can I go wrong? And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this review. It's your boy Logan J, and I'm signing out. Peace.